to share with you a story a story or conversation between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Adam alayhi salam Adam alayhi salam the first human to be born or to be made so when uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala threw Adam alayhi salam out of his garden because Adam alayhi salam ate the fruit of the tree which was forbidden for him so Adam alayhi salam after that ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a very wise question and most of the scholars says that our wisdoms our wisdom which we have comes from this statement or the questions of Adam alayhi salam so when Adam alayhi salam was thrown out of his garden or the garden which was made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him the verse is from verse uh, surah number 7 and verse number 23 it took place between Adam alayhi salam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ibn Kasir writes in his uh, interpretation or in his tafsir of these verses he says that while Adam was ta- being taken away from this garden he asked Allah a few questions number one he, uh, he said my lord you didn't you create me with your own two hands and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said yes he said did you not breathe into me the breath of life and did you not cause me to live and Allah says yes and Adam alayhi salam asked did you not uh, did you not say when I sneezed ya rahmatullah may Allah have mercy on you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says yes I said I did I did say that yes uh, then Adam alayhi salam asked a very wise question to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that explains his he said when you created me and you placed me in the garden and you told me not to eat from the tree didn't you already know i was going to eat from the tree and see the wisdom of adam alayhi salam didn't you know i was going to eat from the tree you see adam understood that allah knew before creating anything that create adam he was going to put him in the uh, garden and he was put into the garden and they were they were going to eat from the tree even though they were told not to him and his wife allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew so Allah said, yes, I knew you were going to do it. So Adam al-Islam said, when, then can you not forgive me for that and put me back into in that garden one day? And Allah said, yes. And he taught him the very famous verse, my Lord, I have wronged my own soul and if you don't forgive me and have mercy on me, surely I will be the one of the losers. So you see, life is not about whether you will sin or not. Because you are gonna sin if you keep living you're probably gonna keep sinning at some point in your life it's not about whether you will sin or not every son of adam sins what is it important is what you do about the sin al qair al qabira he said but the best of those who sin are the those who repent you see allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he told the angels i know something you don't know i am proving a point here that yes i am going to create this khalifa yes his progeny, many of them are going to turn away from me. Yes, they are all going to commit sin. They are all going to do wrong. But there will be some of them who will turn back to me and ask me to forgive them. And I will forgive them. You see, true power, this is why understanding the attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is difficult for the human mind. Because true power is not punishing when you have the capability to do so. The true power is when you have the right to punish. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the right to punish all of us for our sins. Allah is capable of punishing us. Yet he chooses to forgive those who seek his forgiveness. That's the true power. When you have all the capability, all the powers to punish. And yet you lean towards forgiveness and you lean it and merciful. This is the rob that we serve. This is the rob that the Muslims worship is a rab who is forcing who is merciful that knows i'm going to sin that he knows that i'm going to sin before uh, i turn back so therefore when i do so i'm going to turn to him and beg him to forgive me and you will find him to be most merciful this is the beauty part of islam that i got from the verse of, of the quran chapter number seven surah number 23 and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best the seven chapter is Al-Araf and the uh, 23rd was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says
it is one of the best dua to be made the meaning of the dua is agar lo they said agar lo we have wronged ourselves and if you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us will surely be among the losers this was adam alay salam saying hana matala when he had done the wrong and allah subhanahu wa taala taught adam alay salam to say this and this is one of the best dua to be read and uh, one of the most powerful duas i say and uh, with this dua we should be reading it as we read uh, fatih surah al fatiha or full uh, as we are reading this the interpretation is very clear that uh, we are asking allah subhanahu wa taala hadis qala rabbana zalamna anfusana wa in lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lakunanna minal qasirin rabbana zalamna anfusana wa in wa in lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lakunanna minal qasirin one of the best dua and uh, hope you got something education educational from this video and uh, please be repeating this dua after your salah or in your salah after you say the word ibrahim you can repeat any dua so it is better that you repeat this dua because it's our forgiveness and uh, allah subhanahu wa taala is the most forgiving and may he forgive me and you for all our past sins and the sins we have done mistakenly or knowingly may he forgive each and every one of us and uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh